Hi again. It's me. I'm back. Hello everyone. Long time no see. This is Nuclear Nick. And I hope you like the new mic. Yeah, I got it two months ago, but I haven't used it in a video yet. Anyways. I just thought I might as well make a video. I haven't been making them because I've been working on a really good video, which is ranking every Spongebob episode in Season 1, and it will come out soon. It will come out in at least, at least it will come out in maybe like a week or two, but don't expect anything because it's so boring having to watch every Spongebob episode. And I know Spongebob is awesome, but it, it really can get so boring, 40 episodes in a season. And so, yeah, that's gonna come out soon. And I just thought might as well make a quick tier list video on Fortnite uh, on every POI in Chapter 2, Season 8. Every single POI that now. Now this doesn't look like much, but it is every single POI. And this includes uh, major areas, even if they aren't named. So, yeah, um, without further ado, I guess we might as well start. So, starting off with Sludgy Swamp. Now, it used to be so much better with Slurpy Swamp. Oh yeah, wait, wait, let me just uh, say the tiers first. There's Amazing Area, so drop there every game. It is, it is awesome. It's like, like overall, it is always going to be one of the best places of all time. Great to Land At is our next tier. Great to Land At is... What is Great to Land At? It's good to land at. It's good to rotate with. It is good. Not bad is not bad. Hit or miss, it's in the name. It's It can be good, but it can be bad. Better to leave alone is what it is. It's locations that just are maybe are far away or in the corner that are good, but it's better to leave alone. Try to stay away. If it's like a hot drop, it can be good, but it's not. It may not be that good. <laughs> I don't know. Just don't land there is locations that are just really far away that like have very little chests. And yeah, Coral Castle is uh, the locate is um, it's it's all those locations you know that no one lands at. I'm just kidding. Coral Castle is what you know. It's it's Coral Castle. So starting off with Sludgy Swamp. If it was Slurpy Swamp, it'd be great to land at. It wouldn't be amazing because it's in the corner. But it's not it's not it's not even that far. And also there's a gas station right next to it. But because of the Slurpy Water Gun, I'm gonna put it in not bad. Well actually I'll put it in hit or miss. Because you like you most of the time you're not gonna land there. Also the main building is gone now. Dirty Docks is um, it's better to leave alone. It can be an okay spot to rotate on, but it's just better to steer clear of it. Yeah, just don't land there. Okay, so this spot, it's the Rick's area uh, from last season. It doesn't have Rick anymore. Rick didn't really do anything with it, so it doesn't change it, really. It's It has a few chests. It has a, it has a car. Well, it has a few cars, and it has a launch pad, and a mounted turret. It is good, but it it's it's not bad. You know, it's it's pretty good. The shark. The shark is really good, but it's in the corner. And also, it's broken down. But it has a lot of chests and a lot of slurp cannons. And also, back in Season 5, uh, when those like weird chests spawned, this would always have one. But now it doesn't so try to stay away from the shark oh this area this area is the same it's camp cod it's it has as the description of it says on the poster it says camp cod is an area that has pretty much everything you can ask for it has a farm it has a facility it has a modern house um, and a junkyard it it has everything you need on the fortnite island it is an own island of, in itself but it's 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 far away and because of that it's not good at the beginning of the season when the blue cube was close to it then like that was good but i don't know where the blue cube is now so 
I don't know what to tell you. I don't know where it is. Pleasant Park is great. It's in a great spot. It's close to the middle. It's an amazing area. Everyone knows that. Steamy Stacks, it's been broken recently. And the people are saying the normal cube came out of it. I don't know if that's true. But hey, that's, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to say it's hit or miss. Because it's still in the corner and it's not that good. Um... What is it called? Sweaty Sands, but what is it called now? It's called it's called Believer Beach, right? Yeah, Believer Beach. I think that was stupid how they changed the name from Sweaty Sands to Believer Beach, even though it did nothing. They had a crash pad, so that's it. But the location itself is it, it is a great to land at spot. I would recommend that. So much better than what is above it. Well, not above it there, but what is on the image, what that. Or just this area there. Um, what is it called? Corny Crops, is it? Or I think it's called Corny Crops. Yeah, it's it's not good. It is like it is a it is close to the center, um, but it's it, it's better than these. It's better to leave alone because it 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 doesn't have all of its stuff anymore. I just recommend leave it. Misty Meadows isn't that good. It is a very hit or miss area because it has an upgrade machine. It has it has cars. It has a clock tower. It has it has a lot of good stuff, but it's it's not close to the middle. But it's not bad. Hydro 16. I would have put it as try to stay away, but recently the crows have been spawning there a lot. And so I have to put it here, because if you kill a crow, it, another one's going to spawn there. And, you know, that's good loot. Craggy Cliffs is a good spot too, but it's a try to stay away, because it's far. Although, there is a spot, there is another POI that is basically further away, so I'll, I'll put Craggy Cliffs better to leave alone. This area, uh, wait, is this... Um... Okay, this is Flush Factory. Okay, no it's not. Never mind. Flush Factory. But why isn't Flush Factory on here? I don't know. Flush Factory is not here. I'd say this spot is just try to stay away. Or just don't land there. Just don't. There is a launch pad, but ultimately the launch pad won't get you very far. I wouldn't recommend it. Stealthy Stronghold. It's been updated in Season 7, and it actually is kind of good now. And it, it is a good rotation spot to Pleasant Park, but it's not that high up, I wouldn't say. It, it is a pretty hit or miss spot. Bony Burbs. I love Bony Burbs. I love it. Um, I'd say it is an amazing area. It's I personally prefer it over Salty Tilted. Or Salty Towers. Don't don't hate on me. I, 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 this is my own opinion. You can have your own opinion. But I, I like Bony Burbs. Okay, Retail Row. If it was uh, Chapter 1 Island, I would definitely put it up here. But because of that, it is not going to get that spot. It is... Uh, it isn't that good anymore. Retail Row isn't that good. It's it's a hit or miss area. Pay me if you want, but it's, it's really not that good. This spot. This spot isn't good at all. It's... It's a just don't land there. It used to have the sniper, that um, exotic sniper, and that guy also sold RPGs, which I love those RPGs, but the exotic sniper, like, this is just me. I actually really like that exotic sniper. It is, it does 50 damage for an explosive shot. It does 10 damage to the body and 25 to the head, but... The good thing is, is that you can stick people, and it's so easy to no-scope someone with it. I don't know, it's just so much easier. But, because of that, it, this is just getting low. Okay, um, Risky Reels. Risky Reels is good. It's in the center. It's a great spot to go after going to one of these locations, but it's not a location I want to land at. So it's not a great to land at. It's, an, it's not bad. It's good. It's pretty good. Caddy Corner. Caddy Corner. Hmm. It's... 
it's similar to retail row in a way, but I land there more. I don't know, it's also a hit or miss. Weeping Woods is also a hit or miss. It's like a, it's similar to Retail Row and Caddy Corner. It's a place that you're not gonna wanna. It's a place that sometimes you won't wanna go to, but sometimes you will. You know, it's kind of like your opinion, ultimately. Holly Hedges. This place, it used to be called H Holly Hatchery for last season, and I hated how they changed the name. I hated those stupid name changes for like hardly a change. And this I would put I would put at hit or miss, but because of the car location, because that's now considered part of Holly Hedges, I'm gonna have to move it up to not bad. Cause I actually like landing at that car location and going to Holly Hedges. I like that. Yep, this one is an amazing area. I love Lazy Lake. I love it. It is awesome. The center is gonna be just a land there. Because last season it had the IO guards around it. But now it's just, there's like a few chests in the middle. Isn't that good? There's a few chests. Um, there's a shark in the middle. I guess that's good. But ultimately, it's just not a location you want to land at. This thing. It's, um, I don't know if it's meant to be all of the uh, um, new cube areas, but I'll take it as that. I like it. It's great to land at. They're not, it's not totally amazing. But it is great to land at. It has a lot of chests. I like it. The last one, Coral Castle, is going in its own tier. No one likes Coral Castle. And yeah, that's 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 it. Um, I think I made a pretty good tier list. I don't think anything's wrong. If you think anything's wrong, write in the, write it in the comments below. Also, tell me about this mic. Does this mic work well? Cause I'm not sure. Anyways. That is all I want to show. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.